Welcome back guys to my silent bedroom. We are going to Cos Ioko. Here we are. The Cos Io Corporation Office Building. It looks like most of the businesses on this block are a part of the same corporate coalition under Cos Io. Is that important? Well, perhaps. At the very least, it means it's unlikely they're the ones interfering with Augmented Eye's articles. Not impossible, but unlikely. I guess we'll have to look further afield. That makes sense. Another flashy car. No need to steal this one. Cars, I.O. Corporation office buildings employs a pretty fancy interactive screen out front. If they can keep it outdoors, the electrical work on it must be another level. The mesh net says Augmented Eye's SF office is run by an individual named Zin, and Tomcat confirms she's expecting us. All we have to do now is head up and talk to her. Sounds no simple enough. No shenanigans this time. Shenanigans, me? Oh, hello. Welcome to Augmented Eye. You must be the journalist my network admin said would be showing up. Have a seat. Would you like a drink? Uh, I guess water will be nice. My assistant will bring it right away. Look, I'll start off by saying I'm a little uncomfortable about bringing in another journalist to look into this. Whatever you dig up, I'll have to explain to the rest of the press. But it's still better than the other options. Chances are I have another corporation scoping out my territory. If they aren't in the Coalition, they'll be expecting a corporate spy, not a news hound. If they are in the Coalition, it won't look good for me to send in my own reporters against my allies. Even if I do end up being right. So if I'm damned either way, I'd rather it be by the media. At least then we can fight back on a familiar battlefield. Now. What do you know about our problem here? Someone is tampering with your articles on the mesh. That's the long and short of it. My network admin is pulling their hair out over it. I'm not going to pretend I understand everything they say, but from what I understand, the changes to our articles aren't being made from inside our network. The versions on our servers are still the originals, but at some point after they hit the mesh, they get changed. I'm hoping that you can do some digging, maybe hit up your contacts and get a lead on who might be doing it. Even if I have to get answers from the nightly news, it will be a big help. What kind of changes are being made? Mostly little things. Word choice, tone of the writing, things that make the writer appear more or less extreme on a topic. So far, almost all of the edits seem to be making our articles more positive on new technologies coming out, and more critical of organizations like the Human Revolution. That's actually what tipped us off. A harsh criticism one of my writers made about the Human Revolution protests was changed to be downright vitriolic, and I had a hell of a time putting out the fires. My writers and readers aren't exactly fans of them, but I'd rather not pick fights with the Human Revolution if I don't have to. Why are you so sure this isn't just an inside job? I guess I'm not, but my network admin assures me it's all coming from somewhere else. They told me that they tore out all of the routers that broadcast to the mesh and replaced them with fresh ones. All kinds of tricks involving IP addresses and DNS changes that I'm not going to even begin to claim to understand. I pay them big bucks, so I'm inclined to believe them unless you dig up something that tells me otherwise. Do 
you have any idea where I should start looking? Not really. My admin says that only someone with intimate access to Parallax's network protocols could make these kind of changes as something passes across the net. Personally, I think it's a clever hacker rather than someone inside Parallax itself. The public trust rating of Parallax makes them look like a saint among wolves, so their control over the mesh network provisions is strangling. It's trivially easy to set up ROMs to use a different OS than LIPS or a different MeshNet protocol without that trust. Or, you know, Parallax is abusing its power to spread pro-tech propaganda. Doubtful they need to. I'm sure you'll be a good journo and bring me back the right answer. Okay, that's a start. I know Tin Hat conspiracies aren't an ideal start, but it's the best we can do with the info we have. Anything else I can tell you, off the record? If you want it on the record, it'll cost you your firstborn and a really good cigar. Can you think of any reason why you're being targeted? Like what? There isn't much more I can tell you about Augmented Eye, really. It's a fairly simple and straightforward operation, if I say so myself. We started off in Venezuela as a sleek current events and news organization in 2055, almost 10 years ago now. We focus on more in-depth reporting of on-the-street happenings, on top of major news. We are one of the few good ones left. Once folks in other cities saw the type of reporting we do, they all clamored for it. They invested in the right places and it paid off. Boss IOCorp is happy to have us here in the OSF. It wasn't until hybrid tech started hitting the public sphere that we had to make any changes to our model. All of that said, I can't see why anyone would target us. Unless they're just trying to embroil us in a mudslinging match with the human revolution, and there are much more direct ways of making that happen. You know if anyone else has articles being manipulated? Uh, Alright, look. I wasn't going to tell you this. If it gets out, I'd have to answer some really hard questions. So, if you didn't hear this from me, you might want to go check out TMI Entertainment and Charlie Nova. That's all I'll say. And remember, you take a bite out of him with my name as your defense, I drop you fast. What's the real reason you're bringing it in outside help? Your own journalist should be able to handle digging up some dirt on a hacker. What? Not wanting to answer prying questions from my coalition board isn't a good enough reason. Cause I'd really like to avoid that. And look, you've covered culture wars, right? My journalists are good. But they're mostly good at gadget reviews, implant releases, not taking too many stims so they remember what they did at raves for the after-party reports. This needs an investigative journalist with serious contacts, not tech personalities. The fact that my network admin recommended you to me means you probably know the right people. Now, does that cover it? I'd like to remove my nose from your ass. <laughs> Gee shucks, I'm popular. Yeah, that's it for now, I'll get back to you if I have any more questions. No, don't bother. In hindsight, I probably should have been a bit more circumspect about speaking to you. Plausible deniability and all that. I won't ask you to lie in anything you write, but do remember you got in contact with me not even second hand, but third hand. I certainly didn't sick you on anyone. Wink wink, nudge nudge, or whatever. If you need anything else, have your person get with my person. Don't come here directly. Now, I'd show you the door, but you know the way. And this isn't the only fire I'm trying to put out. Good luck, and goodbye. Well, that was more confrontational than I'd have expected, considering she was the one needing help. She never brought you that water, either. Is it always like this? She knows the game, but we didn't walk away with nothing. Very true. 
I will admit that I am interested in the possibility of a link back to Parallax. If all of this really is due to somebody manipulating the mesh net on the inside, it may give us the leverage we need to find out what happened to Hayden once and for all. That said, I will take care not to get my hopes up. We should make no assumptions when investigating, lest we lead ourselves down a false path. Anyway, seems like our next step is... What the... What the hell happened? She was defenestrated. Emergency services are already on the way, and we are severely ill-equipped to help her. We should head back to her office and see if we can determine what happened here. Perhaps we can still dispense justice. That was surprising. It looks like the desk has been cleared off. Let's take a look around, but be careful not to disturb any evidence. The police will be here soon. Even a ROM like that doesn't deserve an end like this. The flawless foliage is half fuller. Swank in the Contessa curves out the edges. <coughs> Personal computer is not password protected at the moment. Give me a moment to look through her files. Best to keep your fingerprints off of the keyboard. Most of this isn't very interesting. MIDI reports, financials, article submissions. Oh, here we go. According to this email between Zin and her network admin, her lead on TMI Entertainment is a little more solid than she led us to believe. The admin ran a web crawler looking for changes in writing styles. Some blog posts by their head anchor Charlie Nova stood out like a sore thumb. Apparently he's a bit pompous, if in an affable way, and his blog usually just details his day-to-day -day life. But ever since the human revolution has been in town, he's been smearing them with more venom than you'd expect, considering how neutral his on-air reporting has been. Zin seemed to think he was just complaining about the protesters fouling up traffic, and whoever is manipulating these posts spun it to make him look critical of the movement as a whole. Just like the augmented eye journalist. This Charlie fellow is the one we need to talk to. Super Family Link. Yes. My thermal sensors only detect a single set of lingering footprints, and they end almost three feet away from the window. Considering the density of this glass, I can't imagine Zin jumped from that far and managed to throw herself through the pane without help. But who could have done it? I don't see any obvious marks on the floor or any other thermal hotspots. You're saying no one else was here? It doesn't look like it. We should go. There isn't anything else here, and the police are almost on the scene. Son of a... I should have figured the two of you would be here. You just won't stay hey, out of trouble Lexi. no matter what I say, will you? This is a total misunderstanding. I assure you, Detective Rivers, we are merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. We have
had an appointment with Zen to discuss a possible lead and found her office in this state of disrepair. Of course you did. Damn it. Fine, why? Get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. We'll chat about the case more when I'm not busy scraping bodies off the pavement. You hear me? Certainly, Detective Rivers. I'll forward you a report of what we know immediately, and we can speak further at a later time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get moving. Why did you lie to Lexi? We could have told her about the articles. Because it's better this way. We are chasing smoke trails. You think she would assist such an unlikely investigation? I do not need you to infer upon my motivations or highlight my duplicity. Detective Rivers has every bit of information that Zinn gave us on that computer. Her investigation will not be hampered by our absence, whereas ours is halted if we're stuck giving answers she can just as well get from a hard drive. Hmm. Literally. Fair enough. Has it occurred to you that whoever threw Zen out of that window could be after the same thing we are, except to silence the story rather than to get it out? We have little time for fooling about and must get to Charlie Nova before something happens to him too. Now, unless you have further recriminations to level at me, we must not squander the time my dishonesty bought us. Yes, boss. I have highlighted the main Neo SF offices for TMI Entertainment on your map. Let's go. Yes, master. Hmm. I hope some pity for me still remains, considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions. You know anything about TMI Entertainment? Honestly, you do have your own mesh access, yes? I'm quite certain you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. You're getting a bit uppity. You hardly have time for me to blather out every bit of exposition you desire when you could just go look it up on your own. I'm sorry, Turner. No, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit on edge. Things are barreling out of our control, and I'm taking it out on you. Forgive me. Let me pull up the information you requested. Can you tell me about TMI? TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news conglomerate. They own OK Today. They did a good job transitioning from the traditional media models of television and news to the net-based model prevalent now, pioneered by their digital newspaper, OK Today's The Scanline. Some might call their programs rags, but opinion on the mesh seems more favorable than not. They stick to mostly good nature prying and lean away from the seedier nastiness that paparazzi can get up to. As such, they have a positive relationship with many celebrities and regularly get exclusive scoops that keep their ratings up, despite their refusal to peddle in the darker side of the celebrity news circuit. What do you know about Charlie Nova? Charlie Nova is TMI Entertainment's most popular TV personality. He's gotten consistently high ratings for almost a decade and isn't afraid to tell you about it. The chatter on the mesh paints him as a bit arrogant, but in that loud, backslapping kind of way that a media star can get away with. He's best known for hosting Star in the Stratosphere. It's one of those talent-seeking reality programs. Apparently, when TMI can't organically discover enough celebrities, they just manufacture them. Oh, and also, according to this blog, Charlie's hair is flawless. Wep woo. Got it. This guy's gonna be an asshole. Welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do you have an appointment?
No, we need to talk to whoever's in charge here. Um, I really can't let you in without an appointment. are on the line here, and all you care about is an appointment? Calm down, Turin. Oh, um, look, if it's that important, I can buzz you through to sympathy. But she isn't going to be very happy about being bothered off schedule, so don't get your hopes up. Fallout. Right, of course. I apologize. We will be as tactful as possible, I assure you. Okay, she's over on the other side of the room. Head straight there, because she doesn't like it when people bother the talent. June, Valma, Anna from OK Today. Hey, you, over here, now. What are you doing bothering my people? I thought I told Nina to cancel all my appointments for the day. Sorry, I said the woman and you've got a beard. I swear, that girl couldn't find her ears if I taped them over her eyes. At least she makes a decent cup of coffee. Are you sympathy? Uh, Nina said we should speak to you. Yes, I am. And if you don't mind, I keep the show running here, so I'll be brief. What are you doing in my building? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your personalities, Charlie Nova. Someone has been manipulating his articles on the MeshNet and turning them into scathing attacks against the human revolution. We are trying to track the culprit, and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you? Must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat rave about. Hmm. Of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. I'm tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. Super Hacker twists MeshNet news for personal political vendetta. The clicks basically farm themselves. We're willing to trade info with you. Not interested. I already have a pretty decent idea of where to look next. And if that doesn't pan out, I have our primary server cluster chewing through mesh posts looking for inconsistencies. I'll figure this one out on my own, without some newbie mucking things up. Say that to Zin. Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him first. Holy shit. Fine, I'll let you talk to Charlie. If someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather it be out and done with as fast as possible. I mean, shit, we're in entertainment scene. Nobody should die for that. Hey, watch yourself with Charlie. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out and figure this out on my own. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. Fantastic! How fantastic! I just love your ROM. 
Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek, very clean, bravo. Oh, uh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait! I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Star in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. Uh -huh. What can I do for you, hmm? Well, tell me about TMI. Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, it's the best damn network on the planet, I can tell you that. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. It's her pride and joy, after all. Sure, she can be a little acerbic, and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know? Deep down. Hmm, I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. So, let's move on. What next? Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can't imagine you've come all this way just to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid 100% original autobiography, Like a Nova. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stinker. I grew up here on the mean streets of Neo-SF, but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. And the rest is not-so-ancient history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. It's all thanks to my swarms of fans, though. They're the ones who count. Have you heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted to the mesh? Oh, it may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and our support people were on top of it. They're top-notch, the absolute best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. I've heard of other people's posts getting altered too. That's very upsetting. I hope you've passed along that information to Sympathy. I'm certain our tech people will be able to find the culprit in short order once they know enough about it. I really don't know what I have to do with it though. It's a bit worrying that you don't know more. Need to know, and all that. I keep on top of the things that need my attention, and leave sympathy to handle all the things that don't. My time is too important to be wasted on trivial things like minor technical glitches. All right, that's enough. Charlie has a show to get ready for. He's told you everything he's going to. So get the hell out of here. If you find anything more interesting than what you've got, come back and see me again. Directly. Remember, I'm the victim in all this. Hmm, suspicious. Oh man, she looks really cheesed off now. Uh, do you know how snippy she can get? Better get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. We're very sorry.
sorry if we made your day more difficult. Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers. Um, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? To make her even matter? Oh no. On second thought. It'll only take a minute. She takes it with plenty of milk. <laughs> Should we put a super spoiled milk in? Um. To beat it, or do your ears just not work? I just wanted to bring you your coffee and make sure there were no hard feelings. Ha! Ah, that's cute. I promise I don't bite. I just have a job to do. Sometimes I think Charlie's hair gel seeps into his brain, but he brings in most of our revenue, so his happiness is our top priority. Ugh, my stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. I'm heading to the can, and you're heading to the street. Jackpot. I knew that sportman would come in handy. Did you want a signed photo? Look, Charles, we're trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> it's Charlie. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Really, I just don't have the information you're looking for. Chuck, I'm sure you're better informed than that, right? You're at the top of this heap, yeah? <laughs> it's Charlie. And of course, I'm the leading man around here. Has said otherwise. I'm not quite certain what you think it is that I don't know, but I assure you that I know what it is. You won't be able to trip me up that easily. If they can access your stories, what else can they get on you? <laughs> Nothing. The tech guys already did an audit on my online presence, and there's no evidence of any attempts of unauthorized access to any of my accounts. That's why they're having a hard time pinning down this creep. He isn't actually changing the posts from inside my account at all. So there you go, we're already on top of it. Nothing to worry about at all. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach. And didn't I tell you to get the hell out of here? You're on my last nerve, and if you wanted to earn a grudge with me, you're just about there. Move! That did not go well at all. We need some kind of leverage to get Mr. Nova to give us the information we want. I'm certain he knows something. Don't you agree? He was being pretty evasive. Indeed. While you were talking to him, I took the opportunity to look into his history more thoroughly. It turns out he did a series of promos for a local Hassey bar early in his career, and some fans still spot him there from time to time. It's a long shot, but frankly, everything about this case has been one long shot after another. Maybe we should question the people at this Cassie establishment and look for any dirt we can use to put some pressure on Mr. Nova. There must be something. 
It's the only path I see. Sure. The Hassie Bar is located on Market Street, near the Genus Clinic. I know we can head there whenever you're ready. And with that, I think we'll call it another episode. The investigation has made a lot of progress in this one. Well, I still have no idea what the big secret behind everything is, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Until then, as per usual guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.